Good day my YouTube friends, this is my British Computer Guy here with a quick video for you. So, as you all know recently I purchased a 8x32 uh, LED matrix and after I post that video I thought well I'd, I'd like to get an enclosure for it. Now I have a 3D printer, it's a Prusa Mini Plus and I thought well I can just 3D print one. So first thing I did I went to Thingiverse to see if I could find um, somebody who's already created one so I could just go ahead and print that out and I came across this guy his name's Aaron a uh, super nice guy by the looks of it and he's got a YouTube channel as well so be sure to go ahead and check that out I'll leave a link in the description down below but he came up with this particular design okay I've seen a lot of people using it and I've seen a lot of other YouTube YouTubers like Dr. Z's or Dr. Z's um, I know he's big into the LED thing uh, he, he's used it as well on his stream for demonstration purposes and by all intents and purposes it's a really good looking build um, one thing I will say though I did actually go ahead and print this out and I want to go ahead and show you this real quick the unfortunate thing was I, my Prusa Mini Plus only has a 7x7x7 seven by seven by seven, uh, print bed so I can print 7 inches wide 7 inches deep and 7 inches tall uh, unfortunately as you can see uh, in, in the lower right here this is this is his design um, when I say unfortunately, this piece here is actually seven and a half inches tall. So what I ended up doing was I went into Prusa Slicer, which is the software that comes with the uh, 3D printer, and I actually had to cut half an inch off the top to make it work. Um, I printed these vertically um, as well. Um, and I don't know if that was necessarily a good thing or a bad thing, but it seemed to do the job for me. Um, I, I like the, the finish because I was using a two-tone um, uh, PLA. Um, but anyway, so yeah, it, it, it worked great. I mean, I really liked it. Um, uh, in fact, actually, that's the, <laughs> another prototype. Is this the one? Yep, here we go. All right, so this is the prototype that I, well, his, the first one based on his design. Okay, so it fits together like that. Um, the unfortunate thing is it's a little bit shaky. Obviously, you need some kind of glue to go ahead and uh, glue these together once you've finished the project. But I'll, I I figured there, there had to be a better way of making this. Um, the other thing with his project is he actually is it's an almost a 100% 3D print build. In fact, I believe it is 100%. So you print everything, including the, the, the grid, the diffuser grid, and the actual diffuser itself. And the diffuser is actually made out of clear PLA. So great. I mean, that's great. But I've looked at a lot of the videos and looked at seeing a lot of people uh, who created these. And anytime I've seen it on video, you can always see the where well, the lines are from the the 3d print and i don't know if it was just a rush job and they didn't use a very fine setting like a quality setting but even on uh this one here i'm gonna see if i can zoom in a little bit you can kind of see the grain um and i didn't like that um, i like the definition definition is great um but it was just kind of and now there is actually a lip on the uh, the build as well to basically to keep the LED matrix from kind of sliding falling down and the actual um, matrix itself the, the the grid matrix sits on top of that and kind of sits flush against the um, the surface so yeah it, it it's pretty good um, but I figured it could do it could be improved upon so what I went ahead and did I, I'm big into Tinkercad I love Tinkercad I, I've used it all the time for my my STL files uh, and anything I want to print that I'm designing myself and I've got a lot of designs that I've done um, but uh, I wanted to go ahead and do this as a, a little pro project I had some some spare time on my hands so I devoted a, devoted a few hours to it so this is what I came up with I'm going to show you the exact I'm going to show you my Tinkercad design so here we go now I'm going to talk you through this real quick and just so you know this STL I am going to upload this to Thingiverse so it's going to be free to download um, for anybody who wants it um, it does require supports um, in a couple of places and I would print it, I would all actually I print this vertically uh, that way it minimizes the supports because there's some fairly fine detail um, there's some structures where there's gaps of like two millimeters or about a millimeter um, and honestly to put support material in that would be very difficult to get out so this is the design um, pretty straightforward it looks very fairly similar to Mr. Make It Work Tech's to Aaron's uh, design but I made some improvements so the first thing I did was I I, I think 
I left the the channel here so you can actually uh, your matrix will sit on top of that but I also put this little kind of guide uh, one thing I was finding was when I when I put the two, two pieces together the LED strip would sometimes get caught on this lip here and you'd have to jiggle it around a bit turn it upside down and shake it to get it to go in um, as you'll see there's a, a, tw it's a 12 millimeter hole put in there and a 10 millimeter hole put in there this the one to the right is for the power button for a power button and I've got a power button I'm going to link that's in my, it's one of my Amazon affiliate links that's down below uh, and this is for the power is it's a female um, it's a 2.1 millimeter or 5 millimeter 5 by 2.1 uh, female power 5 volt but for a barrel for a barrel plug okay so that was that and then I wanted to go ahead and make it work a little bit different I didn't like the diffuser I didn't like that 3d printed clear PLA so I went searching around uh, the internet couldn't really find much that was gonna work and I ended up going to a hobby store with the wife and I asked the lady if she had anything that would kind of be a milky white um, and, and act like a diffuser I figured there'd be some sort of craft supply that might work and she said well have you tried stencils and I'm like okay no uh, show me so I'm gonna pause here real quick and I'm gonna go show them get it for you real quick so this is what she came up with she came up with these uh, they're called show-offs uh, show-offs decorative stencils three sheets 12 inches by 18 inches and they are only two dollars and 29 cents for three sheets and this is from Hobby Lobby so they're, I believe they're pretty readily available and you basically what you do is just get a cutter uh, I use a steel ruler and uh, a cutting board um, and just squared it off cut it down to size and then basically two sheets and I slid it in this little gap here at the top and it sits nicely on top of the grid so I'm going to show you how it all kind of fits together here real quick in kind of fun 3D fashion. So first of all, the diffuser, uh, sorry, the LEDs. This is kind of my interpretation of the LED grid strip um, or the LED matrix. You take that and then you put on top of that the, the diffuser grid. Okay, so it kind of goes on top like that. And then basically all you have to do is insert the oh, these two items just just they just slide in oh sorry <laughs> I should have practiced this before I uh, went ahead and recorded the video but basically you slide those in and they go into the groove so it sits kind of nicely in there okay and you can see where the rest of this is going but basically so that little lip there helps guide this the LED matrix into into position so it doesn't catch on that lip there now the other thing is you'll notice there's a little bit of a gap beneath that this little bar here and that's because the LED matrix is slightly ever so slightly wider than the um, than the grid okay and that basically just gives it a little extra space to go ahead and get in there and then that bar here that acts as a, a stopper for the the actual diffuser grid itself from sliding around and keeps that in place okay now and you'll notice there's actually another groove so the other groove is basically for the diffuser now you could probably go ahead if you if you if you, if you want to 3d print this whole thing you could probably go ahead and do that you could probably even defeat uh, print uh, a, a 3d like, well, sorry a 3d print a diffuser sheet at a clear P PLA and slide that in but uh, as I say what I've done is I, I create an, a notch out there it goes all the way along on both sides and that's basically for the the actual diffuser itself so all you do is just slide that in just slide these in first so basically they just slide in like so then the diffuser sheet slides into the little slots right there and it holds it really close against the the actual um, grid because one of the issues that I was having on some of my prototypes and what I did was I basically I printed out the grid separately and then tried using different materials to go ahead and create a, a diffuser it just didn't sit 
nicely. Uh, it kind of usually kind of sat above and does a bit of a gap, and it allowed it, you didn't really get very good definition of the the actual grid itself. So yeah, so basically that's it, um, pretty much in a nutshell. Um, then you can see how that little uh, that guide there helps guide that in. Uh, and to connect it all together, so instead of using the kind of the, I don't know if you call it a mortise joint or whatever you could call it. I know it's some sort of special joint that you that he used on his, where it kind of has one overlapping piece that kind of connects into the other. I decided just to just go ahead and print it flat, just like that, and use pegs to connect. Because honestly, the LED light that's coming off this is shining up and out. It's not going back through. Uh, the LED panel itself has a black back. It's very, it's it's the light will not go back through. So you're not going to get any light leaks out of the the corners. Uh, sorry, out of these. Um, you. Honestly, I mean, you're going to get some out of this little gap here at the front, but I mean, you'll get that on his anyway. Um, but anyway, yeah, this makes makes much more sense. And honestly, this piece of material is actually more like that wide, so you have no gap in the middle. Okay, um, and then obviously you just go ahead and plug those in, and then you take the other piece. Oops, oh. and it basically attaches like. Kind of like so. And that's it, and there you have your you kind of your finished product. Um, and just go ahead and switch cameras here real quick. Okay, so this is the actual finished product. Um, obviously, I've got the power button already in there. Um, getting ready to go ahead and put this one together. The one that you saw on my desk a moment ago, that was just one of my prototypes uh, that I'd done. Uh, it wasn't the finished article, but as you can see, this is basically what it looks like. So I say it's two pieces. You've got the can you can make out the grooves in there, and it fits together like this. So you take your diffuser grid, take your matrix, and one one of the one edge of the matrix is actually a little bit narrower than the other, and that's the the one that's narrow the one that's narrower is actually or thinner should I say is the middle part. Okay, so you clip it over like that. As you can see, it just hangs over just a little bit, which is why the extra grooves in that. Okay, and then you take your diffuser medium. Actually, I'm gonna I'll do this afterwards. I'll get it sits on top anyway. So, and then it goes into the groove like so. And that little sheet, that little thing, helps guide it over. It sits in there nice and snug. That's not going anywhere. Won't fall out. Don't need any glue to keep that on. It's uh, it's good to go. So then all you do is you take the diffuser sheet, and this diffuser sheet is actually a little bit narrower than this particular pro job, I believe. And that goes, oh, in the channel, like so. Oh, it's coming out now. It's because it's a little bit. This one, this, this, this is actually for a prototype, another prototype that I created. I need to cut some uh, film just a little bit, uh, a little bit wider. But there is absolutely no gap between the the grid and the diffuser sheet. So it actually gives really, really nice definition. And I'm going to go out. I'll post some uh, photos of this and some video of this when it's all hooked up here in a moment, um, because obviously it's disassembled. I'm going to go and reassemble it and get it going, and I'll show you some in the outro uh, that you can see. But yeah, f please please like my, please like this video, please hit the thumbs up button, and please subscribe. Um, I want to just say thank you real quick to everybody who subscribed to my channel in the last few weeks. It's, the response has been overwhelming uh, to my, my last video. Um, it made me feel really good. Uh, makes me This is it's what makes me want to go ahead and do more. Um, I'm not monetized, so there shouldn't have been any ads on this particular video. If I've got ads on this video, it means I've hit that magic number for subscribers, which is awesome. Uh, if you've got friends who are into this kind of stuff, let your friends know. Uh, share the link for this particular project. Uh, and also, be sure to check out Aaron, Make It Tech Work. Uh, great guy. He's got some great video content on there. He's doing much better than it, than it <laughs> at this than I am. Uh, and also check out Dr. Z's. Or Zeds, I don't know how you pronounce it. It's it's an American thing, I guess. But uh, yeah, feel free to check it out and uh, say I'll put links, leave links to this particular build in the description down below. Uh, let me know what you think. If you have any, if if you have any difficulties, please do comment and in the in the description, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I try and respond to all comments. But uh, yeah, 
that's how that's that's how it is but uh yeah you'll have a great day thanks for watching i appreciate it and uh in the next video i'm not too sure what it's going to be i'm, I'm going to try and get the text thing going and images going so i'm going to try and do a tutorial truth i'm going to go ahead and try and do a tutorial on that but uh once again thanks for watching you'll have a great day take care now until the next time cheers